Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggy, and for today's video, I'm going to be giving my hedgehog, Momo, a bath. So before we get straight into this video, I wanted to share with you guys the products I'm going to be using while giving Momo a bath because this is very important because not all products are safe for hedgehogs. So before you go and give your hedgehog a bath, make sure to watch this part of the video. First of all, a lot of people like to use toothbrushes to kind of brush their quills and brush their underneath and kind of cleanse them a little bit better, which is great. Toothbrushes work fine. But for today's video, I'm going to be using one of these. This is a finger toothbrush, please focus. So it just makes cleaning a lot easier. Now these are usually used for dogs or cats to brush their teeth, because obviously, you can stick it in their mouth a lot easier than a normal toothbrush and feel around a lot better. But what I like about this is the bristles are like plastic and they're kind of soft. So I feel like they're not as abrasive as a regular toothbrush and hedgehogs are very sensitive. So I wanted to use one of these instead of a normal toothbrush. And actually I partnered with Trending Niche and we are going to be giving away 500 of these for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping. All you have to do is click the link down below, order the product and proceed to check out and you will receive one of these free of charge. Besides you do have to pay for shipping. And keep in mind, they're only going to be sending one of these for every package that is ordered because we wanna make sure as many people as possible can get their free finger toothbrush. So we don't want someone to like order a hundred of them in one package, you know? So you can only order one of them per package and yeah, we're giving away 500 of them. So make sure to click the link down below and get your free finger toothbrush. By the way, this giveaway is worldwide. So even if you live outside of the US, you can still get one. Next, we have the actual soap that I'm gonna use to wash my hedgehog with. Now it's very important when picking out soap for your hedgehog to find something that's safe. People usually recommend soaps that are made for babies or sensitive skin and things that are unscented. This is because hedgehog skin is very sensitive and you don't wanna use anything with fragrances or anything that could be harsh on them. I know a lot of people like to use the Aveeno sensitive skin oatmeal soap, but Aveeno unfortunately isn't cruelty free and here on this channel, we like to be cruelty free as possible when choosing products. So I'm going to be going with Dr. Bronner's 18 in one hemp baby unscented pure Castile soap. So this is unscented. And what I love about this is there's literally only nine ingredients and they're all super just natural organic ingredients. And this is probably gonna last me forever because you're supposed to dilute this too. So yeah, this is unscented and Dr. Bronner's is cruelty free. So this is the soap that I'm going to be using. Once again, it's the hemp baby unscented soap. And then on top of that, I'm also going to put a little bit of oatmeal in the bath because oatmeal is really good for hedgehog skin and helps hydrate the hedgehog skin because a lot of hedgehogs do suffer from dry skin. So it's good to just add a little bit of oatmeal and make it an oatmeal bath as well, so let's go bathe Momo, shall we? First, we're gonna get the water to a temperature that is warm. You don't want it to be too cold, but obviously not too hot either. So I got the soap in there, as you can see, and then I'm gonna add some of the oatmeal, just like a little sprinkle of it, really. You don't need a whole lot. Well, maybe a little more. And then we just gotta grab our hedgehog. Here we have Momo, the dirty hedgehog. So when you put them in the sink, you wanna just slowly put them in back first so you don't freak them out. All right, cool. Then I'm just gonna like kinda get some on, on her. And you don't wanna get any directly in their face because you obviously don't wanna get soap like in their eyes or in their ears or anything like that. And then I'm gonna take my little finger toothbrush and just kinda use it to brush the quills. Momo, are you just loving your bath? I think Momo's just having a wonderful time. So I'm just gonna kinda go under the body and gently rub it with the toothbrush to kinda clean her underneath. 
And then I'm just really gently gonna get like the sides of her snout and like under her chin. Again, you don't wanna get any water in their eyes or in their ears. Now we have a happy and clean hedgehog. And you wanna make sure to thoroughly dry them before you put them back in their enclosure because it's very important that they don't get too cold because if they get really cold, then they can try to go into hibernation, which is really dangerous for them. I know, I know you don't like this, but I need to dry you off, so. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post videos every week. Check out my social media and my vlog channel link down below. Also don't forget to click the link in the description and get a free toothbrush because I'm doing a 500 toothbrush giveaway with Trending Niche. And Momo and I will see you in my next video. Isn't that right, Momo?